Now it's time for a little flashback because Said some beasts from the woods we actually she get to play the as Siri. So again, she's wearing the alternate costume. One you might have not seen before. And she's apparently hurt. She was followed by something. Chased by something. But for now, we just need to follow the riverbed and find help. So Siri is a bit different than Geralt. Siri doesn't have any signs doesn't have the same inventory as Geralt and only has one sword. What she does have, however, is something that will be apparent in a minute. She has automatic healing regeneration, health regeneration, and I think this is still the case even on that much difficulty. So, the Dodge of Siri is a short range teleport. Making her a lot faster fighter. Than Geralt. Allowing for much easier backstabs. Her health generation is also quite big, allowing you to be a lot more aggressive than in Geralt's hands. You can come down. So there's a little girl over there. So this is also the first time we see the fully grown Siri. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Well, um, Siri, Siri would probably say, "No, I never am." I never lose my way. Ooh. If that's true, what are you doing so deep in the forest alone? Looking for lost little girls. Sing. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. So she also doesn't have the potions that Geralt has. Not for now, anyway. So that wound is a bit more harder to treat. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. So that's uh, more creepy than it sounds, because the Trail of Treats is also not a really good thing. We've got a warning of that already in one of the loading screens before, and uh, we'll soon be confronted with the real meaning of the Trail of Treats. Your father. Why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked. But father said it wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats. That would solve things. So that's also starting to sound a bit more macabre than before. I'm not going to spoil anything yet, but nothing good lies at the end of that trail. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. So, the Wolf King? No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. Okay, we'll protect you, little girl. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. <sighs> there we go. Onwards into the forest. That was a bit of a weird exchange of looks. 
So there's another pack of wolves. Whoa, Cannot really get the jumps quick, on them. I have a feeling that the damage I receive is not as severe depending on the difficulty. Because I can't take a lot of hits apparently. So I'm guessing the series bits aren't difficulty specific. Weird. You can come out now. My your brain. My father can hmm. massacred by something with immense claws. So, indicating that the King of Wolves isn't just a simple wolf, but something a lot bigger. I need to follow Gretka here. Look! There's something there. Yeah, something you don't want to see. Because he's been don't literally torn to shreds. But, no, but stay here. I must see something. So this guy has nothing left. Maybe his head. His head is still attached, but everything else. Oh, he still ha has his right arm as well. Mm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense that... pain before death. Yep. His chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. So this thing is big. Mm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. And <laughs> look away from the massacre. Mm. What's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. So the big wolf thing. Let's like see. marrow. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? So let's sum that up. The wolf king's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What so. happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, bull's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Kind Not of. my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. So, uh, it's also funny that Siri remarks Greta's uh, smart mouthiness, since she was the same when she was that small. So the AI of the wolves is also very smart because they alternate their attacks really quickly. And there's still one left, I think. Yep, there he is. And there he goes. They're gone. You can come out. You cut them up bad. So that's full sparsely. There we go. Now I can. Oh, All right. okay, that happens automatically. I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, and brew the oil in peace. Okay. Stop giving each other those weird looks. What 
what you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. I love her voice, by the way. Really fits the character. Yeah, I don't really loot a lot of these things because the oil is the only thing we're gonna be Do able to make. Do send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children, sometimes they go themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. Uh-huh. Sure. This way. Through the cave. You lead. Yes, let the good little girl lead the way towards the werewolf. Siri would not make a good mom. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. <laughs> so that doesn't sound good. What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do! Hide! So, our first battle with a werewolf. So be pretty aggressive because his attacks There we go. Okay, that was close. And the werewolf is down. His attacks were a bit heavier. Really give him a dropping. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. Okay. We found something in the woods. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Oh, Yaren. Must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren there. The little one. No details. Okay, let's go then. You have bandages at home? Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. And that's how she met the Bloody Baron. I think she's hungry. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. <laughs> well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? He should have died. See one fucking copper. Get By the werewolf. Set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Mm, very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten, and you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So he's actually a very friendly man. If he's not in one of his tempers. So I ordered my men nice to transition watch her from and the left her to rest. Bread and cheese. And... Ah, a topic for another time. Ooh, there we go. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. 
But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. Which we already knew. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Okay. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. He's almost in that, at least. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. Guard! You... This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. How can he whistle with so, so little teeth left? Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Hmm. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Maybe they were bothered by someone? This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. Okay, that was pretty clear. Anything unusual? Anything unusual happened before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another lass before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women... Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever. And Tamara, occupied with her... things. Nothing unusual. Okay. Sounds a bit... demeaning, but... Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any who might have, they've been eating dirt long since. So everything's happy in paradise, it seems. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I was thinking I about do. that for a long time. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Okay, another problem. He's hiding something anyway. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Did I what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Is that deer's womp on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I flay him alive. Here it well, is. you open the fucking door. Damn it! Jammed again. Bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Okay. Try not to make a mess. For their return, not. I want everything to be as they left it. Okay, not the problem. So he's gonna stay outside. So let's investigate this place a bit. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. So yeah, there's one piece missing. Which is not that odd on its own. Let's loot the man for everything he has. That's weird. There was something here. Walls a different color. 
Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Huh. So that painting has been moved. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. So let's take that off and see what is what's behind this? there. Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. So there's a hole in the wall they wanted to cover up. So... Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. So let's check this thing out and move it out of the way. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm, fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. So someone either hit or threw that candlestick through this wall and broke off. But who might that have been? So... So there's a lot of stuff around this. Huh. Rest of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Erveloose. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. So now we'll be able to follow the scent of the wine. I was gonna check out that back over there. Oh, can't see anything. Okay. So let's follow the scent outside. The Baron doesn't seem to mind. Okay. Down the stairs and Damn. onto... the trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Onto this board that's apparently loose. There's a talisman. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is... Against what? Won't find much else here. So, there was a clearly drunken fight here that ended on the staircase where either the, the wife or the daughter lost her talisman. Done poking around? Yeah. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. Oh, there we have it. Gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Because they're scared of you. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air valuse? Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Because it ended on that staircase, so you might have thrown someone off there. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. Yeah, if we've Anna met her to already. See someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Okay. I'm, not, I'm off to see that Peller. Want to have a chat with this Peller? Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to <laughs> ask about the amulet. So, uh, bestiality is a hobby in the winter, apparently. So we get another character entry for the Pallor. And I'm first gonna track the quest for uh, investigating series chambers as well now that we're here. So, going downstairs again. It was the room across from the kitchen, so 
Shouldn't be too hard to find. Especially since the marker is telling me where to go, of course. So, and there's a stash where I can store any of my items. I don't really have any specialty items yet I want to get rid of, so let's keep it like that for now. So there seems to be a diary here. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Breedevoort. Where'd Siri get this? So that's a book about curses. To my dear friends, Philip and Anna from Count Le Guèvre, Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of Temeria. So the, the book was gifted to uh, the Bloody Baron and his wife. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one being's ill will towards one another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace are reports of curses cast unwittingly one on oneself or on objects on, in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases they lead to harm or even the death of the person afflicted by the curse or of the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse fell. That is why it is so essential to take preventative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. As an absolute minimum, Madame Amelia Vera Cruz Leon recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts, striving to be at one with the world and achieving harmony between body and mind. So Siri was for some reason investigating the causes and solutions for curses. Weird. Hmm. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. So no remark on the fact that she's examining curses, but hey. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. So that's her clothes. And there's some weird object here. A spinning top. Gritka's toy. So, that leads us to go talk to Gretka, who still is in the building. And then we find the fireplace. Gonna kill the monster. Or here working or... in the kitchen. So you're Gretka? I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. So, can you tell me anything about her then? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. So, the friend, we know that's the elf by now, because we've already met Kira Metz, who told us the same thing. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Our friend! She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Okay. Look familiar? My top! Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Okay. And they know where she is. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well, don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Okay. Goodbye, Gretka. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. I'm not playing. I'm helping. <laughs> so that was Siri's room. Thistle. And that leads us back no to the Baron's quest. So we need to go find the Pallor. So back at Sat, we're free to roam Crow's Perch as we see fit. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the notice board as well now that I'm here. Because it's here at the upper area of Crow's Perch. And I'll, in the meantime, also uh, check out all the shops here. So, ointments for carbuncles, be warned, it's awful rank and noise and blah blah blah. Okay, don't need that. Gwent, looking for new players, the Sharpers, a Gwent playing society based at Crow's Perch, is looking for new members. Experience preferred? 
but we will also school newcomers to the game. For more information, see the club's chairman, Philip Stranger, known as the Bloody Baron. So the Bloody Baron is also a avid, an avid Gwent player. So we'll take that. Any man who wants to test his manliness by slugging it out in the ring, come see us and you'll get to fight the best brawlers around. Smithy, Sandfish Gulper, Yona and the Sergeant. So that's uh, a little side quest for uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat championships. So another contract, the Beast of Honorton. Good folk, there's a file and dangerous spook, beast or devil of sorts causing no end of trouble near our village, Honorton. We promise our profoundest gratitude and a sizable reward to any brave lad who can slay it. If you're looking to learn some more, come pay us a visit as for the Alderman Sobermir. So that's another contract and another contract for the Shrieker. To whom it may concern, let it hereby be known that whoever kills the Shrieker, the monster that's wove its nest near Crow's Perch and has taken to killing both men and beasts, will be given a sizable reward. Take heed that she's a dreadful dangerous creature and killing it will take a trained fighter, not just a pack of peasants with pitchforks. Chat of Crow's Perch. And the last one is about horse races. If you haven't heard, we race horses around here. Anyone who wants to join, come talk to me. I'll fill you in on how it works. But I'll tell you right now, you gotta pay an entry fee to race. So if you're skinned, fuck off. Ratko. So that's everything of interest here. So a bunch of undiscovered locations. Side quests. Like the Fist of Fury quest. And a few contracts as well, probably. The Gwent quest. And two contracts. So. Um, and the races, of course. I'm gonna end this episode here. So next time we'll go find the Pallor. In search of uh, the Baron's wife and daughter. So maybe he can tell us more about where they might have gone to. Although we're already suspecting the Baron of uh, a bit of... Well, uh, abuse towards his wife and daughter in his drunken rage. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So thank you guys again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.